Hey there, my name's Kara, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the free Father's Day text overlays that are part of my free creative toolkit. So if you don't already have it, check out the link below this video, go download it, and then come back here, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. You'll notice in this PSD file, each of the little word groupings has its own layer. They've all been vectorized, so you can scale them um, however you need to. And the one I'm gonna show you today is this one here. I've called it Paper Airplane because it says my heart belongs to daddy, but so does this version over here. So I distinguished it by calling it Paper Airplane because it has a paper airplane right here. So I'm gonna click to select that layer in my layers panel, and I've already got the image open that I want to place it into. So in the layers panel, I'm just gonna click and hold on that layer, and then I can drag it right up here to the tab for my image. And I'm, I'm not gonna let go yet. I'm gonna hold my mouse. I'm gonna come up here, just pause. You can see that it switched the view and I'm still holding it. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna hold down the shift key while I drop it. And that will place it right in the center of the image. If you don't hold shift, it's fine. It will still work, but sometimes it bounces into the pasteboard or what I call outer space over here. So I like to hold shift. Okay, so we can see that this is pretty small. This is a very high res image. It's fine that it's small because it is vector, so we can scale it. So to do that, I'm gonna press Command or Control T, and I'm gonna proportionally scale the image by dragging from the corner. So depending on your Photoshop preferences, you may or may not need to hold down the Shift key. So then I can position it where I want it, and when I'm happy with everything, I'll press Return or Enter. So maybe you just like it like this. I think it would be fun to add a smidge of color to really help this pop. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new blank layer by going to the bottom of the layers panel. I'll double click where it says layer one to rename it. I'll type color, press return or enter. And um, because I want the color to appear behind the type overlay, I'm gonna drag the color layer down in the layers panel. And when I see this blue line in between the paper airplane layer and the background layer, I can release my mouse and that will reorder the layers. Now we're ready to paint. So I'm gonna come over here and grab my paintbrush and you can use whatever brush you want. I've got some loaded here. You have many already on your Photoshop, so it really doesn't matter what you choose, but I'm just gonna pick one and we're gonna select a color from the swatches panel. So if you don't already have it open, you can go to Window, Swatches, and then click on a color that you wanna use. And I'll close that out of the way. And then I'm gonna zoom in so I can see a little better. Um, you can increase the size of your brush by using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. So those are the ones next to the letter P. And then I'm just gonna paint this in. And personally, I think it's kind of fun even if I get like out of the lines a little bit because it kind of adds like some hand-drawn charm. Oops, maybe that was a little too much. So if you make a mistake, I'll just press E for eraser and then you can clean that up if you want to. All right, um, and sometimes I like to just leave like some spots where I kind of missed too. So then I'm gonna come down here and paint in this heart. So I'll go back to my swatches. Either you've got it open maybe, or again, window swatches. And this time I'm gonna pick a nice red and then I'll just switch back to my brush tool and paint this in. And you can be, you know, you could use a watercolor brush. I mean, there, there are so many brushes. You can use any brush you want. And there you have it. So before you close it, I would recommend that you save this as a PSD so you always have your layered work in progress file. And of course, then you would save another version as a JPEG for printing. So thanks so much for tuning in. And if you would like to download my entire free creative toolkit, check out my website at karaplichinich.com.